hello team and welcome back to the channel so before starting the video small request please subscribe to the channel we upload videos on daily basis at 9 am in the morning and it takes a lot of time and efforts to record such hands on videos for you also a big thanks for 1000 subscribers okay okay so coming to today's topic so today we are going to create a complete course course on docker so in this course what we are going to cover is uh, what exactly is docker why do we need it what is docker file what is docker image what is docker container then what is docker network and everything what i'm saying we'll be doing a hands on implementation so that a better understanding can be created okay then we'll be doing covering uh, docker compose then docker volume and after this we will be using docker in a real world application inside a pipeline to create a docker image and we will be using that image to build and deploy the application okay so everything we'll be doing hands on as well as also like uh, whatever resources i am going to use will be mentioned in the uh, description link and those projects will be available on my github account okay so everything already public but still if you can follow me you'll be getting notification whenever i push a new uh, project inside my account okay so that will be very useful for you also i am available on linkedin as well if you need to connect there you can connect okay okay so with that being said let's get started okay team so let's start by understanding why exactly what exactly is docker and why do we need it okay okay so let's say that i am having my own uh, system like a basically a, a laptop on which i am building an application okay so let's say that i built an application and i provided the name as app.char okay okay so like basically this application i built on linux machine let me or you can say the environment on which it is built is linux i used open jdk okay and i ran the applic executed the application by running the command java hyphen jar then app dot jar okay yeah so i ran the application uh, using this command and then uh, i was able to access the application on port 8080 in browser okay okay so i created the application under these conditions now my friend got to know that i have created one application and said ki aditya please share to me also that application okay but the problem that he is having he, the problem that he is facing is that first of all he is having a windows machine okay secondly he is using jdk uh, 11 thirdly like he is not aware how to e execute a jar file fourthly he is not aware on which port uh, the application should be accessible okay so these are the dilemma with my friend uh, because of this because of these things he is not able to access so even even like uh, what i did even let's say i shared the application to him okay even though i shared let me share even though i shared the application to him he is not able to run because he is not having these conditions he is uh, he is having a different os he is having a different jdk he don't know how to write uh, run the uh, jar file and he is not aware on which ap uh, port application will be running and this is where docker comes in okay so docker what it does it will it helps you to run the application irrespective of environment okay that means it does not matter if he is on windows or any other os if uh, like with help of docker it can build this build and execute uh, build and run this application okay so that means what docker does okay so very simple thing uh, docker will do okay let me show you what it does so docker what it does it will package the application okay basically package the application with the environment and whatever required dependencies were there whatever command is required to run and whatever port it will be visible on along with those things docker will package the application and let's say that i put a button okay ki whenever you push this button application will start automatically right okay so and instead of the, then once i have packaged the application with the environment then instead of sharing this uh, uh, this app dot jar file i shared the docker package okay i shared to my friend this docker package okay and let's call it uh, docker image okay so this docker package uh, which is basically uh, docker pa see docker package is nothing more than a application packaged with environment okay and the reason also now you know because 
that is the environment on which it has been built and that is the environment it is supposed to run so i package the whole thing and share that to my friend and using this button whenever my friend just pushes this button it starts okay so what happens when i push this button okay so when i push the button uh, linux environment linux os is created open jdk will be installed on it and this command will be running okay and uh, then we we will know okay we can access our application on port 8080 okay so first thing you got to know what, like uh, first thing you understood why we need docker we need docker to package the application with the environment so that it can run on any other machine irrespective of environment right that is docker that is the whole point of docker packaging the application with environment okay and how do it does it basically creates a package which we know as docker image okay now the question is how it is creating the docker image right so that also let me show you let me write the basic docker commands okay so docker uh, also remember these lines remember these four points okay because from this only we will write the first docker file to create a docker image okay so basically docker image is created using a file which is known as docker file d capital always and using that docker file that docker file contains the list of commands or list of things that are supposed to be uh, packaged with the application right so first a uh, first line in docker file will always be from from is basically means uh, the base image that we are going to use okay so in our our case it is linux okay so linux and jdk we are using open jdk so there are like multiple uh, multiple packages available or like for os so we will take this one open open jdk 8 colon alpine okay let me explain you what exactly is this okay see first line we have written from open jdk alpine colon alpine that means this particular os image will be having jdk 8 already installed okay and you are seeing that we i have written alpine instead of linux the reason for that if i direct use linux machine it is very big it is of very big size okay so in what i have done i am using a version of linux that is very small in size okay so you you see the point right even you, when we are packaging the application we can customize it to not take too much space okay so when we use this image for the base this is basically the base image okay where from in using from keyword we provide the information which base image should be used okay so you see here we are using a base image which is having linux and open jdk 8 and that is having very small size also right okay that is the first line second line what i said ki uh, i want to let's say copy yes so let me write it first copy target app dot jar space app dot jar okay okay let one second let me remove this underlines yeah see second command i have written keyword first of all keyword is copy copy means like copying something and here uh, in the format what i have given copy uh, source to uh, target okay so what exactly i am copying so when i am building the application i am copying the uh, main application or main jar file on on this jar file and where i am copying this so i am copying this on the machine okay i'm copying this on the machine or inside this basically okay that means now we have we are having th th uh, three things first of all is we have the jar file and we have the base image on which it is built okay next let's say we have this expose expose is also another keyword so in expose we are providing the information on which like on which uh, port our application will be vi visible to us right so here you can see previously also we mentioned clearly that our application is supposed to be uh, accessed on port 8080 right and last line uh, what we need to do if we are having the application we need to execute it okay so for cmd we have another keyword cmd basically is the keyword which is supposed to be run first thing after the container is created docker container i will explain in a minute okay so how it goes how the command seems see i am writing it in a simple words so that you can understand how from here we came here right so i will write the command as java then uh, hyphen jar then we have app dot jar okay now if you see cl uh, clearly you can see very 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 it is like very transparent like 
first of all we we are just create like uh, packaging the environment and how we are doing first of all we took a base image which is the same as uh, linux and uh, having open jdk secondly we are copying we are sharing the uh, artifact jar file to the container or server where we are going to create uh, like deploy it okay then we are providing the information that our application will be accessible on port 8080 and finally we are just running the jar file okay and this is the simplest docker file which you can share to anyone if if in, in interview of a, if or if anyone ask you to write a docker file this is how you write okay also like docker file always written the name of the file is in this format docker file d capital okay now you get the point like first of all we are using docker to a uh, package how we are packaging uh, the uh, application then we are packaging using docker file and this is the basic docker file using which we are packaging and once you execute this docker file okay once you use this docker file to create a docker image docker image is what docker image is nothing but a package right docker image is nothing but a package which is having application packaged along with environment right so two three concept now i understood right first is a docker then docker file docker file is a file which contains information on how we are going to package our application and when we package our application that package is known as docker image and remember i mentioned in the beginning that we have we have created a button on this package okay that means that whenever we press that button that package will be started okay so when the package is started yeah so when the package is start one second yeah so when we push the button the package starts okay and when the package starts it it is having the same uh, condition that it was like uh, when it was built okay for example yeah so when we start the package this is what happens like it will create a, a linux base image app.jar will be inside that okay then it will be having what it will be having linux base image is the uh, environment already okay sorry yeah linux then it will be having already already open jdk will be installed okay open jdk 8 will be installed and port will be defined here and finally we will execute uh, uh, run the application using java hyphen jar then app dot jar okay so when we push the button this is what created which is similar to the one in the first place the, uh, like uh, the environment along with the application on which it was built okay and we push the button and this is created and this whole thing is known as a container okay container or container or you can say docker container okay now when we say docker container so what exactly is docker container docker container is the running version of running instance of this uh, docker image okay that means when we like run the package that we have created when the run when we run the package that pack that running instance of the package is known as docker container okay now let me summarize these things first of all you understand doc what is docker let me make it little big so that it is understandable first of all we have docker what exactly is docker uh, docker is a tool which is used for packaging application with environment that makes sure that uh, the application can be run irrespective of environment right okay then what we studied then we studied docker file what is docker file it's a file that contains instructions instructions to package the application package the application with environment right and when the package was done then we get docker image okay then this is the ps r a r psc whatever sorry about this spelling mistake okay packaged application okay docker image is basically packaged application which is packaged with environment then we have docker container okay so docker container is what it is basically the running instance of 
docker image okay that means when we start the docker image it, it whatever like instance it creates that is known as docker container and our application will be running inside this container okay okay i i, I hope you understand the point like what exactly is uh, this one these things right now you understand the point what is docker docker file docker image docker container and i hope you are literally uh, like listening to this video with a pen and notebook in your hand so that you can understand okay now what i'm going to show you is these things with hands on okay so let's do that okay team so now we have understood uh, the docker file docker image a little bit docker container now what we can do we can do the same things uh, like work with those things okay hands on okay so first of all like this is the vm we are going to work with and first thing that you need to do is install docker on it okay so for that also command is there if you are not having the command you can just search on google for installing docker container and from the official page you can install okay so let me install then i will start working with the docker image and other things and then i will show you how exactly these things work and how exactly we are like running the application inside a container okay so let me paste this as well see at the end i will be showing you same thing with a proper real world application so then only you will be getting a better uh, like point of it how exactly it is working okay few last commands these commands will also be accessible to you in uh, the link in the description so you can get it from there and i don't know what the fuck happened to this dog every time i record some session this guy starts barking okay okay yeah docker is almost getting installed see doc since we are going to use docker compose also so i will be installing docker compose and docker compose also i'll be showing you with the best example possible okay so just stay with me and just watch the video the video might be little long but uh, still if you need to learn something it's better to learn in the best possible way right okay <clears throat> yeah see these commands i have run if i run docker commands now it will show wait let me show you do, 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 do. yeah see if i run docker hyphen v it will show but the problem that i want to fix here is that as of now i am on i am a root user right but in case you are not a root user then how you can run so to solve that problem we have these four commands okay so this will make sure that you can run docker commands with other users as well so let me run these as these commands as well these commands will every command whatever i am using it will be in description so you can just get it from there no worries about that okay uh, 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 uh. <sighs> okay and yeah one more command is pending now let's run that as well and then we are good to go right okay done that enter clear okay so first thing that we will do after installing successfully docker is to check if docker is installed or not we can run the command as docker hyphen v okay great you can see i have installed latest version which is docker 24.0.1 okay now first thing that uh, you need to understand with docker is the command docker pull okay docker pull what exactly it does if i run like docker pull you know like there is a web server known as nginx right so if you if i want the docker image of nginx i can write docker pull nginx okay click enter and it will see if you don't provide any tag i will show you in a minute how to provide tag as well okay if you don't provide any tag it will take always the it will always take the latest version of that image or latest version of that package you can see it has like downloaded the pull a uh, downloaded the uh, docker uh, package okay so pull command is used to download the package on your local system okay Ah uh, yeah another command which you need to know is uh, if you want to see how many docker images are currently on your local system you can run the command as docker images and you can see as of now only one, one docker image is there tag is latest okay now in case you are thinking what exactly is tag tag refers to basically a specific version of a docker image for example uh, i want to install docker pull a different version of nginx okay so what i can do uh, we can go to 
this page hub hub dot docker dot com. This is basically the uh, repositories which contains tons of Docker images. Okay, so if you search there nginx, you can get it here. Let's open this and let's say that you can see so many different versions are there. I just installed latest because I did not provide any specific version, so it installed latest. Okay, in case I want to install uh, different version, for example, 1.24, how would I do it? So I will write it nginx colon 1.24 and it will pull that image okay click enter you can see pulling from uh, library nginx and uh, if i run the command again docker images you can see two images are there first one is latest version where i did not provide any tag secondly i provided a specific tag to download a different version right and you can see the size even here 142 uh, mb okay so let's clear the screen okay now two images we are having next what we want to do is create a container using that docker image okay now to create a container what command we can run is docker run we are going to run that can uh, run that image docker run then hyphen d hyphen d is optional basically what it does uh, hyphen d will make sure that whatever logs are coming uh, while creating the container they won't be visible they will be running inside background and on the screen they won't be visible okay so like in case like see if it is visible it becomes a little bit complex to understand what is going on so i will just run it in background okay then double uh, sl uh, double da dash name this name basically is the name of container that we are we want our container to have in case you don't provide a hyphen hyphen name it will automatically take any name you it want okay so but in our case i want the names uh, nginx and dash new okay okay next we have hyphen p hyphen p means port it's it, these are variables okay these are like some variables which are variables or arguments whatever you want you can say hyphen p means port so we need to define the port on which we want our application to run so here let's say i want the port to be 8080 colon 8080 now you are seeing i have mentioned two ports 8080 colon 8080 okay Okay, in case let's make different to avoid any confusion. Okay, see, first one is host port, second one is container port. What is the difference? Like for example, second port is 80. So that port will be open inside the container that I'm going to create. And first port, that is the port that that is the port on which we will access the application in Chrome browser. Okay, right? Okay, now if I run this and Gnx, huh? after the port you need to provide the name of the docker image which you want so if i don't provide any tag it will take latest if i provide a tag it will take like the tagged version okay so as of now also if you run this docker command and you are not having the image on your local system it will directly pull that image first and then it will create that means if you run the docker command docker run command run command will pull the image then run the image okay got my point okay so let's just click enter and let's see and you can see once you see this id that means your container has been created okay now to access the container i can copy the ip address on which i have run the command paste it here and port we mentioned is 8080 click enter and you can see nginx is running welcome to nginx see it has written if you see this page the nginx web server is successfully installed and working right so uh, this is how we will create a docker image using container for example i want to show you one of the docker image which i use on regular basis which is of uh, sonar cube okay so let's say i will run the command as docker run hyphen d for okay let's say this time we won't use uh, uh, like d also this time we won't use the naming also name I, I don't want okay before that one more thing i want to show you is docker ps so docker ps command is command used to show which container is currently running see and name name is the one which i provided nginx new okay okay now if i run the command as docker ps hyphen a so this hyphen a it is supposed to show container running or not running both but simply docker ps that will show only the running container okay so for example docker let, let's uh, create another container which is docker run then uh, directly we will just provide the port okay port 
for sonar cube i want the port to be 9000 i will access the application on 9000 and here then we need to provide the uh, name of the content uh, docker image okay so i remember the name since i used it use it on regular basis so you will use the LT lts community version okay and you see the difference wait let me just copy this first then i will show you the difference copy okay see now you see here no hyphen d mentioned no hyphen f and name mentioned but in previous command you can see hyphen d hyphen f and name right so now if i run this let's see what happens you can see it says unable to find image locally then pulling from library slash sonar cube see since the image is not present on my system so it will start with first it will pull it you can see it is pulling now once the pulling is complete then it will create the container and you can see since we did not provide hyphen d so logs of starting the container are visible to us right everything visible and from here like we can see when our container starts okay see if you can even see here http connector enabled on port 9000 all these things could have been done in background if i just ran the command as hyphen d okay now to access the uh, application we can again uh, copy the ip address paste in our browser and provide the correct port name port number so in our case it is 9000 click enter and you can see sonar cube is starting okay so let it start and then i will show the overview of it okay okay so let it run meanwhile what i will do i will create a different here yeah now if i run the docker ps command to see the image uh, containers as you can see as of now two containers are running in first one i provided the name nginx new in sonar cube container since i did not provide any name so it created a name on itself okay you got the point right okay next what i want to show you is uh, how we stop a container okay so on docker ps is already there so in case we want to stop a container we write docker stop and image see you can provide this name name of the container or the container id either one is fine so i will go with container id paste it click enter okay it stopped there are basically two commands to like stop a killer container one is docker stop one is docker kill difference between them is that docker stop will follow the proper process to stop a container while docker kill will instantly kill the container or stop the container instantly doesn't matter what processes are running in background it doesn't matter it will just stop and kill it okay so now if i run the docker command docker ps only one container we can see right but as as i mentioned before docker ps hyphen a every container running or not running will be visible here you can see nginx also showing and status showing exited 32 seconds ago right good so now you know how to run a docker container and how to pull a docker a docker image right okay okay meanwhile just let me show you this uh, yeah see sonar cube has a uh, setup by default the uh, password is admin admin user password is admin admin i will log in into it let's change this and new password will be aditya confirm password same click update now you see application is like we did, did not even download the tool sonar cube but still we are able to run it okay so don't you think that that is like really good thing that is why i always like when i am creating my own pipelines i always use docker images or, or sorry docker containers okay and in this way like this is this is really good for temporary access okay if you want to do a poc always go with docker image and not just sonar cube you can even create uh, jenkins as do from docker images okay 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 so next what i want to show you uh, like uh, few of the general commands for uh, what is that uh, docker images and docker uh, uh, containers okay so once we complete that then we will start with docker network okay okay so let's do that hello team so <clears throat> now what i want to show you is how we can go inside a container okay so basically first of all you you understand the point the container is like some os based image like uh, linux or anything else okay so how can we go inside linux and run commands okay <clears throat> so you can see like sonar cube container is running now so for going inside a container we have this command docker exec okay docker exec command then the format is doc docker exec 
hyphen it it stands for interactive terminal okay basically we are like creating a terminal which we can interact with to docker container okay Do docker exec hyphen t then we need to provide the container id or container name so container id i will just copy paste it here and then here which terminal you want to use to interact so in my case i will go with shell okay click enter and you can see there is a dollar sign okay <clears throat> so if i type bash it will convert the terminal to bash and you can see now we are inside uh, this uh, docker container with user sonar cube if i run the command ls you can see all these folders are there right so <clears throat> if you want to execute something like copy paste or do anything else we can do using this command we can go inside docker container for example if i go to extensions basically this is the folder see there is a folder plugins okay so this is the folder uh, inside which we uh, like put our plugins as of now it might be a little empty i guess yeah so if you want to in case we want to install a new plugin we need to copy the jar file and paste it here okay and that is how we install a sonar cube uh, a plugin in sonar cube okay once we in, like copy here we need to restart okay so <clears throat> you get the point like how we can go inside a container and the basic command is docker exec hyphen t which is which Uh, means interactive terminal then uh, container id or container name anything is fine then sh sh is just we are just defining that okay <coughs> shell terminal we want to use okay 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 let me clear the screen okay let me get out of it hmm yeah okay and we have docker ps again so in case we want uh, sorry one more command if i run docker images you can see we have the two images three images as of now in case you want to delete images let's say i want to delete both of the nginx image we can run the command as docker rmi which means remove image i guess okay and then you need to provide the either you can provide image id or image name i think but image id is better so like put image id then second image id is this one just paste it here with space so multiple docker images we can uh, like remove using this command click enter okay 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 see image is being used by stopped container one image actually removed <coughs> if i run the command as docker images again we can see one of the uh, that image has been removed now but one but one image still pending okay so and it's it shows that doc it is used being used by stopped container okay so container since it is already stopped we can remove a container also for removing or deleting a container we can run the command as docker rm for images it's rmi for container it's rm and container id we got here copy this and paste it click enter and we can see uh, container is gone if i run the command again okay and the image id is this one <clears throat> so if i now if i run the command now to remove the image you can see now it done clear the screen docker images now you can see just one image is running uh, sorry one image is present now and one container is running right so this is how you like accept uh, sorry access the container backend and this is how you remove the container or the image okay Okay next what we want to do is learn about docker networks and how it works okay so for that like uh, we can run a basic command which is docker network ls if i run the command as docker network ls and you can see here there are basically by default three networks exist okay bridge host and none by default in most of the most of the containers use bridge network okay and in you, in case you want to like get more details about a network you can run the command as docker network inspect okay and network name so here we will uh, do go with bridge click enter and see here these these are the better uh, more details of it and one more thing you will notice here containers so this is the container which is sonar cube container of our own okay that that is using the bridge network as i mentioned more like uh, bridge is the network which is most commonly used okay okay in case uh, <clears throat> in case you want to create your own network what you can do you can let's make clear the screen you can run the command as 
docker network create and let's provide a driver name okay and by default like i will just go with bridge okay bridge and new network name will be let's say devops click enter and now if i run the command as docker network ls you can see now we have a new network devops which we can use to connect containers okay main point of using network in Dev uh, docker is that it is it can be useful for connecting containers or like talking uh, communication between containers which i will show you just now okay so let me show you that as well okay team so what i want to show now is how you can use a docker network to communicate between containers okay so the demo part of it let me show you so first of all let's create a new network okay docker network create and the name we want is mongo dash uh, network okay click enter and network has been created just we can check it once docker network ls okay sorry about that yeah so you can see mongo network we have created now and by default it took bridge driver okay okay now what exactly i want to show you is by using two things one is mongodb and one is mongo network okay so the thing is these two what exactly are those like mongodb is mongo database which is like uh, usually runs in back back end but in case you want to access that mongodb uh, through a ui then you connect mongo express to it okay and that's what i am going to show you now okay okay now to explain you the little bit about commands for example like you know we run our uh, docker run command is like this docker run see in case you have like so many lines of code you put a slash that means like next line you can write okay so let me write this and then i will explain you what exactly is happening and how we are how we will be using a mongodb network okay so <clears throat> uh, name is correct let me just see okay mongo network yeah see if i copy this once and clear the screen paste it here okay now let me tell you what exactly is happening first of all what we are doing mongo uh, docker run okay hyphen d then slash means next line we can write the steps so here hyphen p is for port port we are going to use 27000 27 sorry what is that 27017 okay and hyphen e hyphen e basically means environment so what environment we are adding here is username username value is root user and another environment we are adding which is password okay again slash means next line we can write next line we can write the uh, next command okay name we want to provide this container is mongodb network mongo network we just created and image we want to use is mongo right just click enter and it will start looking for the image if it could not find on locally then it will pull it from docker hub and it will create the container okay see the point main point i'm trying to make here is that network mongo network we are using similar thing to as i mentioned like this is the backend of a database and to access the database from ui we are going to use mongo express okay and that also let me show you how it is getting connected basically since we are using the same network on both places for that reason only it will be getting connected and both the uh, containers will be able to connect uh, communicate okay so if i run the next command okay here also same thing docker run hyphen d slash means next line port here i am mentioning 8081 okay and hyphen e okay before these thing one more thing i need to show you see if we are using this uh, uh, port 27000 let me just check if we have this port open or not for that we can go to our uh, security groups edit uh, let me see here i guess we don't have it open so i will click on edit inbound rules add rule okay and here we'll provide 27 sorry 27017 right and here custom i will keep it open save rules okay so this is done next uh, as i mentioned yeah coming back here three environment we are adding here first is username password same as before 
third environment which we are using is defining this mongo express is supposed to connect to which server so server name we have provided here the name of the previous container which is mongodb so we are providing the name mongodb that means this container mongo express container will be connecting to the previous uh, container which we have created okay and rest like name we have provided mongo express network is mongo network okay click enter now what it will do it will again look for the image if it is not uh, image is not available locally it will fetch it from docker hub and create a container out of it okay okay so those are created if i run the docker ps command okay so here we can see mongo express and mongo is running now to access the uh, these uh, these mongo db we can what we can do we can go to our uh, run, like copy the ip address paste it here and mongo express ip port is 8081 click enter okay now see here the thing is uh, this application basically how it is working the back end part of this application is mongo db and front end ui part which we are using to access the uh, doc, uh, database is mongo express okay so if you want to like uh, create a new database name you can provide the name click on create and it will be created okay so here you can see the details and all those things okay so you got the point like how we are connecting right so this is how like we will use docker network to connect connect containers okay now in case you are thinking uh, this is also very interesting in case you are thinking why did i take the example of uh, mongo express and mongo db okay the best reason for that and the 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 format that i'm using here like the slash one because we are using uh, multiple or multiple environments and other values okay so the reason for that because i'm going to like start like, give you an overview or like give you a how docker compose works by explain using these examples and then you will understand why i'm using uh, mongo and Mong mongodb and mongo express okay but at least now you got the point like how mongo express and mongodb are communicating those two containers how they are communicating because we have connected them over same network okay just to show you again if i go here to docker network inspect mongo network <clears throat> click enter and see here two containers it is showing okay why because these two containers are mongo express and mongo db and we have connected them over the same network and for this reason we can see here right so I, I guess like you got the point how we are using docker network and how we are connecting a container or making com uh, containers communicate among them using a same network right you got the point and don't worry everything whatever like script i am using here this script uh, will also be in shared to you over uh, description okay okay now what i want to teach you is uh, docker compose what exactly is docker compose and how it works okay so let's get started with that okay team so what i want to show you is now is what exactly is docker compose okay okay before that you can see as of now docker if i run the command docker ps i have removed all the containers not a single container is there okay now coming to what is docker compose so docker compose you, you okay previous example you just saw for docker network example we created two containers using image docker image one one docker image was mongo and one was mongo express okay so we created these two containers separately by running these commands okay now to fix this issue like let's say that we have multiple containers we want to create so every time if you want to create we will run the command docker run hyphen d then details right so that takes a lot of time okay and in case we want to run those commands uh, to other machines also so we we will like write the whole script again and again that is like very hectic right so to solve this problem and to make sure that multiple containers we can create with a single click for that we have docker compose so what exactly happens in, in docker compose in docker compose uh, we create a yaml file okay whose name usually goes like docker dash compose dot yaml okay in that yaml file we define the information about which uh, container we want to create using which image okay so if we have multiple images uh, out of which we want to create containers we can mention all the details inside that yaml file and simply executing that yaml file all the containers will be created right so previously since we uh, like uh, created two containers uh, using uh, docker run command same thing we will be doing using docker compose okay but this time it will be a little bit easier 
and like you we will be using creating these containers using a script okay so before anything let me show you first what is the format of the script okay so usually the format goes like this version then here we need to provide a version okay usually at this point it's 3.x so i will just go with 3 okay next we have services inside services we will be defining which containers to be created using which image and other environment variables i will just show you in a minute next we have network so which network is supposed to be used for docker co uh, container communication we will define here in case you have volumes we you can define volumes in this format okay but as of now we are not uh, covered volumes so we will go with these three options okay so let's start creating the uh, container okay okay so first of all we need to define our things and we will use these commands only there is no different command separate command these commands only but in a different format okay so first service that we have is mongodb okay and the service mongodb it will be having first of all we will define which image it is supposed to use so which image is it is it, it, sorry it is using mongo okay spelling is wrong yeah mongo then container name we need to provide so let's provide as container underscore name okay and name i want to provide as mongo db okay next what we have is ports which ports we want to use so ports we want to use is uh, this format 27017 sorry and this will be the host port container port will be same Two seven zero one seven. okay next what we have environment so what environment we have is let me show you see environment we will just copy from here first one is the username so copy that paste it here then again another environment which we have is the password copy that as well and paste it here okay okay now this is done okay everything we like defined here okay so next what we will do we will do the same same and create the service for mongo express okay so let's do that as well mongo dash express this one and then image which what we want to use is image we will be using mongo express okay spelling i hope every spelling is correct that is where i get little bit confusion okay next container name container name we have this uh, mongo express same as the image name okay mm -mm -mm -mm. okay then we need to define the port so again for port will be ports this one uh, tab hyphen then 8081 colon 8081 okay and then we have environment okay so let me copy this uh, this one copy and paste it here and here here and we will paste these environments first one we is we are having this one and next we have the password let's paste it here and one more environment is to define the uh, server which which is in our case mongodb which are which we are going to use okay okay this is done okay then coming to network so which network we are going to use is uh, we will make it default and name of it will be uh, this one mongo network which we have already created so we will copy this and paste it here okay and this is the very basic uh, what is that very basic uh, uh, docker compose file which we will use and let's see if it works okay so i will copy this and we will need to paste this content inside a docker yaml file okay 
okay team so we have added the content in the mongo yaml file okay if i go inside it so these are these are the things which have been added two things we separately you need to add is this one this one restart unless stopped and second one depends on mongodb so this makes sure that a mongo express is not like exiting okay and it depends on mongodb okay now to run it you can go back and to run it you can run the command as docker dash compose hyphen f uh, for the file and then this is the file and up if you want to run in detached mode you can write hyphen d but we want to see the uh, log so we will run in this format click ok and you can see here if i scroll up let's see from beginning so mongod started and uh, starting and both both the uh, containers have started and you can see here it is saying attaching to mongodb mongo express okay so everything we have defined already in our yaml file because of that it is like running and to access the uh, the application we can go to uh, go to browser paste the ip address and paste the port on which mongo express is running okay which is 8081 click enter and you can see it has started if you want to create new database name you can just provide details click on create and everything is already there right so you can see if all the details that uh, we we want to have is there okay so this is nice and okay now what i want to show you is let me also see if you are running the uh, docker compose container if you want to close it you can just uh, enter control key and you can see stopped everything stopped now okay okay so what i wanted to show you is how a real world docker compose file looks and how it works okay so first of all what i will do okay let me paste the contents of the file in case uh, i need to share it to you click enter and yeah this one copy and i will just paste it somewhere yeah great okay team now what what i want to show you is how we use docker in a real world application so this is one of the application i am having Okay, this is a real world application having front end, back end as well as database. Okay, so what we are going to do is build this application and deploy using Docker. Okay, so first of all, I will copy this uh, uh, repository URL, go to our VM, and clone this application. Okay, git clone, and yeah, paste here, and this is done. And we can go inside the application folder. Okay. So I have installed Maven as well as JDK 11. These two commands I have run to install. Sorry, these two and one more this one. Okay, so we will build using Maven by running the command as Maven clean install. Okay. And let's see. So once the build completes, it will generate the artifact and we will deploy a Docker image using that artifact. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Remember, right? this artifact app.jar so that will be created and using that using this and using this uh, docker uh, yeah, this the docker file we will build the artifact uh, docker image okay some issue is there okay so test cases failure are there no worries we can skip the test cases by running this command d skip tests equal to true okay click enter and it should start and it should complete in a few minutes i guess okay See, in case test cases are failing, obviously, like, build will fail. You can see now, since we skipped the test cases, build is fine. Okay. If I run the command as ls, you can see there is a target folder created. Let's go inside that. And now ls, you can see the snapshot.jar file, which is the main application artifact, has been created. Great. Now, what I want to do is build the Docker image. So, for that, I have the command as docker build hyphen t let's provide a name as shopping okay then we need to provide the path of docker file which is inside the uh, docker folder so path will be hyphen f docker slash docker file space dot okay click enter one second okay yeah we were in target folder and then we ran the command that is not so good ls and you can see there is a docker folder here if i run the same command here it should work you can see docker image building has started and once the image building is complete we will uh, create the docker container using docker run command 
okay yeah image has been completed if i run the command as docker images you can see here shopping tag is latest okay so let's try to run this docker run hyphen d hyphen container name will be shopping only okay and hyphen p port we want as 8070 colon 8070 space and the image name is shopping so we will paste it here tag is latest click enter and you can see container has been created to access the application we can go to the uh, ip address first paste it and the port we have mentioned is 8070 click enter and you can see it is fine registration working login working and just to show you let's log in as well admin admin click login okay and here we can put uh, login and yeah you can see now it has login we are logged in click buy and it is working fine we can remove we can buy whatever we want we can do great and you can see the role is admin now because i used a username password admin admin okay so this is how we are using docker in a real world application building an image and creating a container out of it so i hope this video is useful the thing is like docker volume i will be covering in the next session because i am little like short on time so i cannot uh, do that right now so i'll be covering docker volume in the next session so thanks for watching and have a nice day